Hello and welcome to the Late Model Stock Fixed Series. We are here at Kern County. We've been seeing a lot of it lately, and uh, we'll see more since we've got the Kern County Raceway Parks uh, League Championship going on tonight. We'll be in the trucks. But uh, hey, it's the new, cool new thing, so makes sense. We'll be seeing it a lot. For now, though, it's going to be seeing me be slow, probably, because... I'm not too great in the late model stock. It just doesn't click with me all too well. But I'm going to do our best here. Try to get a good starting spot and uh, see what we can do. But could be rough. Only a 10 car field. 2.3k strength of field. So probably going to lose a lot of I rating this race, but that's okay. Who cares about that anyway? Trying to get on that little seam there. One more lap. That's about as good as I've uh, done. In fact, that is my best lap ever, so. That's nice. Even like we're even better so far this lap, too. Hey, that was pretty good, actually. We'll see how it compares to the guys that actually can be fast, but at least I uh, pulled out a decent lap for qualifying. Now I have done this combo before. Right when Kern County came out, we had the uh, session hosted by Landon Moody. And uh, that means that, hey, maybe I got a little bit more experience out here. That said, the week has been going on for a while now. It is Saturday. And a lot of the people in this room might have already been racing this this week. This is my first attempt at it in the official capacity, so not actually likely the truth. But at least it's not my first time out here in this car. Right now we are P3, thankfully. Uh, it, <laughs> I did not expect to get a good qualifying lap in, and that will just fine, I think. I just hope we have a clean race and I can uh, feel good about my uh, uh, performance by the end of this thing. Practice holding that low line here for a second. Kind of a, an awkward track. Gotta make sure I can hit the line properly. Fun track, though. I've really enjoyed racing here so far. I do prefer that lane up line. Man, look at that. 18.5 at, at the, at, on the pole. That's really fast. Certainly not able to keep up with that. We got the four putting laps in, and uh, we're actually ready to go. Awesome. Everybody qualified and got ready. So we're going to be P4, for better or for worse. I don't know if you would prefer to be inside or outside, but I did just finish saying that I preferred that second lane, so maybe it's a good thing. You're on the outside this time. Not often what you hear at a short track that you want to be on the outside lane, but that's what we're looking at right now. Strength of field, 2.3k. Again, reminder on that. Get the accurate number. I guess we'll turn all this off in case we do need that fast repair. Hopefully we will not. And uh, brake bias as far back as it can go. Get some rotation in it. <laughs> we got boo-boo on the pole. Good old boo-boo. <laughs> Everybody knows Boo Boo. Short track ace on the pole. <laughs> Good luck to him and everybody else. Hopefully we'll have a clean, fun race. I don't actually know the guy. Never raced with a Boo Boo, believe it or not. Nice lap though. Yes, I agree. That was a very nice lap. Whole tenth faster than us. A 
we're kind of doing a start and stop thing. Are they warming up their brakes? Oh my gosh. Rear end the guy by accident. Guess I'll warm up the brakes a little bit. Brakes in this thing are very strong already. We can, hopefully we can get a good launch and don't get rear-ended or anything like that. I'm going to do second gear start. Should get a nice view of the leader, I think. Get ready, going green. Alright, car is off. Time to do your job. Go. Green, green, green. Alright. Car inside, still there, hold your line. Stay high, put the car on the low side. Still there, still there. Gosh, these guys are really diving it in. Still there. A lot better than I am, I think. I think we really want to be on the inside. They are swamping me at the moment. Getting turned on the straightaway. They're getting turned in the corner. Nearly getting turned on the straightaway again. That guy got way too close to me. He's still way too close to me. Stop hitting me on the freaking straightaway. This guy sucks. Bye. Thank goodness. Straightaway is the easy part, man. Thankfully, we are not turned by his shenanigans. And we can finally drive where we want to after losing a billion spots. E5. Guess the bleeding's not too bad. We got a little bit of room as they face each other side by side behind. Let's see what we can do. Still very early. Will we see more guys wreck ahead? Our handling's quite strange. It's kind of getting loose near the exit, but it's tighter entry mid-corner than it was earlier. That guy's sideways. They save it, though. Okay, Colton. You're reeling. Murphy, the gap is now 0.8. They're fighting hard. That was a 18.9. You can see the other guy's getting loose on the exit, it looks like. Kind of catching up as they go side by side. Good consistency. Keep him coming. Oh, he's gonna wreck. Go high. Get around it. Take a terrible corner uh, angle to the corner because we had to dodge the dude. But hey, that's a spot. Plenty of action here, that's for sure. We got some Kern County action. And we got about a second behind us to the next guy, so feeling comfortable in terms of uh, guys chasing us from behind. And we're not even halfway. 
and they've been racing super hard. So we'll see if uh, we get more carnage in front of us as well as they go for the win. Boo-Boo still in the lead. Maybe just a slight tick off of the pace of these guys ahead. Maybe, it's hard to tell. Seems like we're, we're kind of uh, ebbing and flowing in terms of the pace. Mostly just kind of staying right around the same distance behind them. We are pulling away from the guys behind still. That's good. Oh, the leader gets a tap, I think, from the four. got to be ready to make another dodge, I think. Could be on its way. E4. Extra low that time. Whoa, five very loose. They definitely are looking squirrely up there. We find ourselves in line. Pretty much there now. Not sure if we're going to be able to do anything with it, though. Oh, we got a nose on the leader. I think. Maybe not. Looked close. Half distance. Fuel looks good. That last lap was at 19.0. We're running the five. Kind of fake him out a little bit. See if he makes a mistake. Not quite. Us battling up here is getting the six a little bit closer. Oh man, the five really diving it in there. I could definitely see a quarter panel being touched if that maneuver keeps on. Because the four is not really willing to just give it to him for a dive bomb. Uh, that seems like a good way for two late models to find each other. You've just done a 19 it's going to happen. i got to be ready to get out of the way of this. I can see this coming from a mile away. And this track isn't even a mile long. Although it looks like the floor may be getting a little distance on the five. That could prevent that from happening. Five being very aggressive on the entries, though. Oh my god. The wall, you goober. I lost track of where the wall was. That turn two wall can jump out and get you here, that's for sure. You know, if I finish fourth, that's totally fine, too. Still better than I really expected myself to do in this race. Especially if it's a, a, a clean finish, I would definitely take that. Whoa, five getting a little waggy up there. A little wiggly. guys are running a little bit lower than I am. Maybe I should be running a little lower in the corner. Yeah, maybe there is something to that. That was definitely faster than the last lap. Maybe it's uh, more of a turn one and two thing where you go a little lower. 
Oh, that's a big hit for the five. How much is that going to damage his car? Is he going to be off pace now? So far he's looking alright. That was a pretty hefty hit though. He's looking to do it again. So we got 10 to go here. Pretty short race. Typical for this series. Don't know if we're going to be able to catch these guys. They're just a little bit better, I think. Even with the five's potential damage. It does look like he's losing the four a little bit, but... That probably just makes them the same pace as me, who's already a little slower. It's no excuse. Should be able to outrun the six, I think. He's still about one second back. Will we get the four making a big move on the three late in this race? There's a little bit of distance there, but is it close enough that he's going to try something crazy? internet is going weird again, as it likes to do, no reason. I would appreciate being able to at least finish this race if it's going to be going bad. I drifted into the corner there, that was probably not great. Well, we avoided some uh, early mess. We can move up. It's looking pretty good for right now. P4. Even as the one car, and uh, Race Lab says I'm going to lose some eye rating for a top five, which is always kind of sad. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty good about how I'm fishing in here, but again, can't worry about that too much. Got a lap car down low. Been a little bit unpredictable. So we're going to give him plenty of room. That lap time was 19.0. Not really sure where he's trying to run because he was going low and now he's blinking and right in the middle. Between lanes one and two. What are you doing, man? There we go. We get around him just fine. I was able to just be patient with it because we got some space to work with and we weren't going to catch anybody ahead unless they wreck each other. Is four making a move? Nope, he's not close enough. So it will be a P4 finish for us. A win for Boo Boo. And a clean race. You win, Ross. I'll take it. Hey, buddy. Good race. We're done. All right. Let's check it's it. Sorry, how was uh, Martin, though? Good job. Very good job. I like Martinsville. Uh, never know. Get screwed somehow or another. Like Find a nice, safe place to stop. Show off these brakes. You get wrecked Whoa. out, hurt the car at all. Or... All right, what were the tires? Sixty-nine, seventy-four. No, so on the right no, front a bit. That we were on the left rear four. more. And somehow or another, another they said the car that was in the first caution that went a lap down, uh, his transponder got knocked off in the caution. So this is your finishing order. We finish right where we started, despite falling back a few spots at the start does make me wonder how well we would have uh, done if we started on the inside, but I think we were probably slower than those top three guys anyway, and probably slower some, than uh, some guys that got wrecked too, so I think this is about as good a finish as we could have hoped for. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit, because that's a little loud. We'll adjust the camera, and we'll watch the incidents. A couple of them to see here. So lap one, I can kind of evaluate where my... Uh, 
where I was running. Probably a little bit too much room giving other guys. And then this this guy coming up and hitting me multiple times on the uh, straightaway for some reason. Now he did it there earlier and then he comes up and gets me again. Like, I, I mean, I guess I could be a little closer to the wall, but what is the purpose of pinching me so hard on lap four? I don't know. Like, sure, but I mean, I'm farther, I'm closer to the wall than most guys up ahead in front of us. And then he comes and smacks me into a corner as well. Like, he's not holding his line there. Comes, hits me, hits me twice, misses the corner. I'm lucky that wasn't a 4x. Like, what are you doing bouncing off me, man? He was having serious issues holding his line. Like, there, that's definitely not on me. I mean, I'm I'm about as close to the wall as you can ask for up here. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Is he trying to wreck me? I don't know, but he did a good job of wrecking himself. Oh, look who it is. Nine just turns down on him like he's not there, though. That's not on the eight. I mean, they're three wide, and the eight puts them three wide. But nine's just turning down like he's not there, kind of. He's way too far down. And, of course, the ten's the one that gets the worst of it whenever he had nothing to do with it. Racing's not fair sometimes, man. So there's the seven when he's looping it. Somehow it doesn't get the four turned. We have to dodge this one. We have a little bit of space to work with at least, and I can see him spinning. I knew he was getting loose off that exit. Figured it was probably going to happen eventually. Thankfully we're able to get around him and not uh, lose too much time. Let's see as we go to the inside. And, uh... Two, despite having much more time to avoid him, does not. He might not be, have been able to see very well, though. Yeah, he probably, right behind uh, the car head, probably couldn't even see him. So he, he's probably got a good reason. No caution races can be pretty dangerous. Five smacks the wall pretty good. If that's the time I saw him hit it, that's not nearly as hard as it looked like to... Yeah, from my perspective. Ten gets it pretty good, though. Got the two in P11. Hitting the wall. The 11 having some serious issues. I wonder if he's got damage or something. That's why he's having trouble getting around the corners. Eight. Almost gets hit by the 12, but I don't see anything there. And then uh, I believe this is the end of the race. Yeah, the two's uh, blown it down after being a lap down, and that'll do it. So, nice quick race here at Kern County. Kind of a warm-up for my Kern County race with the trucks here to the, later tonight. Not too bad of a race. Made a couple of dodges. Uh, got ourselves a top four and lose an estimated 24 I rating. We'll see what it actually says here in the race results. That's just what happens when you enter a low participation race in a car you're not very good at. 23, 27, strike the field, exactly, and we lose 23, so one I rating better than expected. 98 championship points, so maybe could have uh, done a little bit better, but not too good in this car, so that's okay. So uh, I will take it. P4, thank you for watching. That'll do it for this one, some Kern County. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.